Hi guys, let's learn about the Lewis structure of xenon tetrafluoride XCF4. For knowing that, first we have to know the total number of valence electrons for xenon tetrafluoride. And to know that, let's add the number of valence electrons for both xenon and fluoride. Xenon has 8 valence electrons in its outer shell, whereas fluorine has 7 valence electrons. And as there are 4 fluorine atoms, we'll multiply this number by 4, giving us 28 valence electrons. Adding both this number, we will get 36 valence electrons for xenon tetrafluoride. Once we know that, we'll put xenon in the center as it's the least electronegative atom in this molecule. After doing this, let's place all fluorine atoms around the central atom. Now let's start placing valence electrons around all the atoms. There will be 8 around xenon atom and although it is a noble guess, it can accommodate more than 8 electrons in its outer shell. Once that is done, let's place bonds between xenon and fluorine which make up for 8 electrons in total. Which means 8 out of 36 valence electrons are used up and we are left with 28 valence electrons. Start placing other electrons around fluorine atoms like this. As you can see, we are left with 4 valence electrons and all the orbitals of fluorine is full. We'll place these two lone pairs of electrons or non-bonding pairs of electrons on xenon as it can accommodate more than 8 electrons. For knowing molecular geometry, polarity and other such properties of this compound, check out the link given in the description box below.